cold open. Have you ever felt the sting of a disheartening moment? It's as if a cloud of disappointment has cast a shadow over your spirit. This term, disheartening, describes a situation that's saddening, dispiriting, or downright discouraging. Think about the time when your favorite team made a disappointing start. The anticipation, excitement, all fizzling out like a deflated balloon. Quite disheartening, isn't it? But remember, every cloud has a silver lining. The flip side of disheartening is encouraging or cheering. So next time you face a disheartening situation, just remember to look for that silver lining. It may not erase the disappointment, but it will surely help you move forward. That's the beauty of language and life. They both offer contrasts. Stay tuned for more word explorations. Dive into the power of forbearance. It's not merely patient self-control, but a strength that can turn tides in your favor. Picture this, a marathon runner, battling fatigue, yet pushing on mile after mile. That's forbearance. Now imagine a chess player, under pressure, but calmly strategizing, move after move. That's forbearance. Think of a mountaineer, facing harsh weather, yet persisting, step after step. That's forbearance. See, forbearance is not about giving up in face of challenges. It's about holding on, not because you can, but because you believe you must. So, whether you're a sports enthusiast or a life enthusiast, remember, the power of forbearance can make the difference between success and surrender. Harness it and watch the magic unfold, over and out. Unleashing the power of language, we explore the term onslaught. A word with roots deep in history, it signals an intense attack or assault. Picture this. The day G8 world leaders converge at Glen Eagles, an onslaught is let loose. A powerful imagery, isn't it? But remember, every onslaught has its counter, defense and repulsion. Language indeed offers us a battlefield of words. So, the next time you're in a verbal duel, why not unleash your own onslaught? Just ensure you're equipped with the right defense too. That's it for now. Catch us on the next word journey. In the world of sports, a spurt can make the difference between triumph and defeat. Think of a sprinter blasting off the blocks or a soccer player making a sudden dash towards the goal. But did you know that spurt has a completely different meaning outside the sports arena? Yes, a spurt or uchal in Hindi is also a sudden forceful stream or burst, much like a fountain gushing water high into the air or a shaken soda can spraying its contents everywhere. It's the antithesis of containment, a sudden release of energy or emotion. So next time you see a tearful winner on the podium, remember, they're not just spurting in the race, but also in their emotions. A delightful paradox, isn't it? Life, like sports, is full of spurts. Until next time, keep spurting. Welcome to a moment of linguistic discovery. Today, we dive into the depths of the verb jolt. Originating from the late 16th century, jolt is a verb that signifies a sudden jerk or bump. Picture this, a quiet night disrupted by the sudden thunderous roar of a storm. That's jolt. Synonyms include disturb and jar. It's the ripple in a serene pond, the unexpected honk in traffic, or a shocking revelation that stirs your thoughts. Take for instance, his statement jolted me in my mind. Here, jolted represents the sudden mental agitation caused by the statement, but the world isn't all bumps and jerks. The antonyms of jolt include calm and comfort. It's the soothing lullaby that brings peace, the warm blanket on a cold day. So, the next time you're caught off guard or find comfort in the quiet, remember the power of jolt and its opposites. Explore the dynamics of language and let it jolt your understanding to new heights. Until next time, keep learning.